Okay. That <laughs> <laughs> We're here in the Amazon at Gotha Lab in the middle of a coffee farm. We're going to be learning more about agroforestry. We're going to go meet our friend Sergio here at Gotha Lab. This is the cool hunting series, so let's get hunting for that cool. This is one of the cool things at Gotha Lab. This cute little thing. Hey, you. Don't show people your bum. It's rude. Hi everyone. We're here with Sergio at Gotha Lab in his coffee farm to learn more about an interesting topic, agroforestry. What is agroforestry anyway? Agroforestry is a system that promotes biodiversity and that actually has a positive impact on your farm without the use of uh, pesticide. It feeds the soil actually. Mm. You generate like closed circles on the, on the coffee farm. It takes care of itself basically, like nature itself. It mimics nature. Yeah. Oh. So can you show us more about your system here at Gotha Lab? This used to be like a sugarcane, monoculture of, sh of sugarcane. They burn to each time they want to put a new crop and then they apply the... Which is not pesticide. good for the soil. No, because it... When uh, you're burning. Yeah, uh, the soil is... it's alive. So it has a lot of different organisms there working and doing their job. So if you burn the the land, you're actually killing all these organisms. Mm. And you start to start from zero, creating your soil. Right. Yeah. So in this way, you introduce different levels interacting each other. In this case, for example, we have uh, our coffee here on this uh, on this first level, which is our our main crop where we're focusing on. We put uh, different different plants in small batches all mix, mixed together and you create these interactions between them. No? You have the lettuce here with the sugar cane, the coffee plant. We have the corn there, which serves as a structure for the, for the beans. And then we introduce um, pumpkins at the bottom and they, those three work really well together in terms of pollinization and protecting from, from predators that benefit the other plants. Here, this uh, guava tree or pacay tree, it's uh, serving as a structure for this such a inchy fruit. This is kind of a, a peanut that is super rich in omegas, like uh, as omegas like a fish. Then on a the second level, you get this is the pajuro, which uh, produces a super rich in protein bean. On the third level, we have uh, the pacayo, the guava tree, which produces a lot of mulch for the soil. No? So, so you <coughs> keeps trim adding. The trees down. Yeah, we trim them, and that's how you create the levels. Last level, we have the aliso, which is uh, the tallest tree, which we sent upwards, and that can be used for timber later, and it's great for uh, for the soil to control erosion and things like that. But also good for shading. It's like a cover for the for the coffee plants. They're protected from the sun. Some plagues come visually by looking at the fruit, so they're, they're, they're hidden. Right. Yeah. Is there a benefit to growing on a slope? Yes. So in such rainy places like this, it, uh, water just doesn't, doesn't stay stagnant. So you can rot the trees of the, of the coffee plant. It is as well a, a difficulty because it washes the nutrients down. Right. Hmm? And that's why you want to have the mulch also, because you get a slow flow of water. Mm. Plus, this decomposing these leaves and they're enriching new again as the nutrients get carried away by the by water. Yeah. This is the soil you want to have, like full mulch. See? Just like full of matter, black soil. You can see there's no uh, 
there's no bad weeds here or nothing and your coffee really likes it you see here all the coffee they look pretty happy yeah plus this is the branches that you prune from the trees and you create like natural barriers where these all these leaves are held there and it prevents the 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 washing of nutrients from the with the water yeah hmm. so why why aren't farmers implementing this smart system into their farming mass production because farming? the other option is the petrochemical option hmm. with massive pesticides that do actually work but they work once twice and then your soil is so poor that you need to keep adding more and that means a uh, benefit for the company you know right yeah. and it's easier it's here easier at the beginning yeah at the end it ends up being totally harmful to your environment to and the also expensive and expensive yeah this doesn't cost you anything and you are feeding you're promoting biodiversity you're bringing birds again which are some insects that are pollinizers so they increase your crops right. because they are pollinating all the time because they're hanging on the other trees and then they come down to your tree so you 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 bring all this life into the equation that that creates all these interactions yeah yeah, yeah. so you're kind of creating um like a closed circle ecosystem here yes. just by you, one plant yeah you know? and, and you try to localize as much as you can you don't have to go to the shop that is one hour from here, spend all your money in a plastic bottle using this petrochemical and then you throw the bottle it's the amount of bottles they throw here because it comes in these bottles as pesticides yeah, yeah for example then you are polluting your soil you're polluting your neighbor's soil and it's just a it's a, it's a cycle it's not positive yeah. while you can stay here with this input your own in, you have your own input you just have to do little steps no like yeah. planting the right thing next to the right thing and, uh, and it's all natural it's all natural well thanks so much for speaking with us no, giving us some inspiration yes <laughs> and plant trees yeah okay so i feel like she's found her spot I hope you learned something about agroforestry and we're inspired to maybe cultivate some, <laughs> I can't think, to cultivate some of your own plants and use this system. Uh, if you have any more questions about Galta Lab, link in the description below, you can get in contact with them to do a residency or a workshop or even stay with them here in the Amazon. Um, say bye. Don't forget to subscribe. This kitten will love you. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. Okay, and cut.